All right, try it. First time trying fish sauce. Hey everybody, how are you guys doing today? I hope you enjoyed the cinematic sequence. If you know us, Margaret and I, we make a lot of videos about food. And one of the food that we eat a lot is either pho or spring rolls. It's not pho. All, all, all the true Asian people tell her it's not pho. How do you pronounce that? Right below. But today, we are having some kind of spring rolls, but with B, which is pork and homemade fish sauce. So here's the spread, right? I got rice paper, noodles, bay, fish sauce ready. And then when I told Margaret that I want her to try it, she got the cereal out. So she's not too confident. <laughs> so I'm not getting <laughs> She's not too confident about this, but you, right now you should leave a comment below to see if she likes it or not. Or you can stick around and watch me eat cereal. Yeah, but she's gonna try it. So I think I made a mistake because when I when she was asking about pouring out, I was like, no, wait, don't, because of the smell. But but you should really tell her that it, it smells a lot better than real fish sauce. Give you a spoon and just take a little dip. Try it. Just try it. Just take a spoon and take a dip. Like you try milk. Even babies drink milk. Alright, try it. First time trying fish sauce. It's cold! It's cold! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's fish sauce! You don't want it hot! <laughs> no, John, it smells like cat treats. No, just give it a try. I did! Please give it a try. I did! That's how I can tell you it tastes like the cat! No, give it a meaningful try. Try it. I did. It tastes like vinegar and cat. <laughs> John, that literally tastes like I ate Wilson. <laughs> you don't know what cat that tastes is, like. It tastes like he smells. Alright, now smell it. Smell it, let me know. What, it let, smells like vinegar. I smelled it. It can't smell like it can't smell like vinegar because there's no vinegar in there. I don't know what it smells like. It tastes like cat. <laughs> I'm serious, it tastes like the cat smells. Like when you're petting him and we go, oh, you you smell? It 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 tastes like that. So what's your thought on the smell? Okay, so the smell's fine. It's different, it's fine. See, I thought you would be afraid of the smell. No, I don't mind the smell. Smell's fine. That just smells unique. The the, the the being cold was really weird. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was hot. Well, soy sauce is cold. Fish sauce is cold. Everything's cold. It was in the fridge. Of course it was cold. I thought you warmed it. No. But anyway, so that was different. I didn't expect it to be cold. And um, as far as the taste, I could see where if you could take out the cat taste, where I might be okay with it. It's very strong at first, very almost sprite -y, Maybe there's some sprite in there. Um, but so it's I don't no know. Cat. I don't <laughs> we don't put cat in there. It 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 would be fine without the cat taste. That's the best way I know how to describe it. Like when your cat smells and you're trying to figure out how you can bathe it, that's how it tastes. But I love um, peanut sauce. All right, so I guess I'll be eating that by myself while she eats cereal. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I gave it a value to. She did try, so. Up until we met, I wouldn't even eat like Chinese noodles, and now I love them. At least she tried. Maybe in three more years, I'll like fish sauce. You never know. Well, she needs to like it before that because we're going to Asia. And please tell her, c comment below and tell her that there's fish sauce at every food stand in Asia. It's why you take crackers in your suitcase. Anyway, so glad you watched this short video. I hope it was fun. It's um, it's a first and it'll be a good documentary for us. Oh, Mac know. loves fish sauce. Oh, Mac loves fish sauce. He's a little kid. Hey everybody, how you guys doing today? So I forgot to film the outro for this video as we started eating and that was a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago. I decided just to do an outro here, plus to check in on you guys today. I'll be right back, the doorbell is ringing. Hey, it's Juan. How are you guys doing? I haven't seen you guys in a long time. John has been recording all of his videos early in the morning. He doesn't let me know when. So I'm glad I got to come see you guys as he's outside talking to somebody. I've missed you guys. I hope you guys stay safe during this, this thing. Uh-oh. Hey, hey, what are you doing? We're caught. Hey, John. I was recording. Margaret's talking out there, so I can't, I can't talk too loud. What are you doing? Oh, oh I, I, I'm not doing anything. What are you doing? I was recording. Are you talking to the viewers? I'm just saying hey to them since you won't let me come talk to them very mu much anymore. I know I haven't let you come talk to them. I planned these recordings so you don't bother me. Are you talking to them about a virus? Well, I just want to tell them to be safe during this time. Are you trying to tell them to be safe? Yeah, with the virus. That's what I was talking about. Or are you talking nonsense? No, I'm not trying to scare them. You're not trying to scare them to buy up all their stuff, are you? Because I need milk, and coffee, and creamer, and eggs. No, I just want them to be safe. Well, I hope you guys stay safe. Um, don't buy up all their stuff because there are other people out there who need them. Just buy what you need. All right, I'll see you guys. Bye. Well, I'm really sorry about that. The doorbell rang, the neighbors came to visit. So I started this this uh, side business of photography, not really a business because I've been shooting for free, trying to get experience. And they came over to say thank you, give me a little card. Very nice of them, that really makes me feel good. I could do it for free if, if everybody just does that. They were so appreciative of it too. That just means a lot. Anyways, so I hope Juan hadn't uh, scared you with all this virus stuff, but it is getting a little crazy out there here where we are. The stores are running out of food and stuff, but now I'm not a medical professional, but just don't freak out too much. Don't buy up everything. Leave some stuff for, you know, other people. Buy enough for your family because there are people who can't make it to the store when you can, and if you just buy up everything. I saw a post last night, this really old guy went to the store to buy some toilet paper and he didn't, he couldn't buy any. That's a little sad, you know, and don't create a panic. There's nothing to panic about I guess I don't know again I'm not a medical professional so anyways I hope you guys enjoy this video I hope you guys enjoy some of Margaret's reactions to me that makes me really happy because one day our kids could look at this and get to see some of these experiences that really means a lot to me if you're new here I'm glad you stopped by I hope you subscribe and come back if you've been here before thank you so much for coming back leave a comment down below let me know what you think about the videos I'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>